Hey everybody, Wyoming. <laughs> We'd like to thank you all for tuning in to Lefty's Last Breath. <laughs> Lefty, don't die! Oh my god. Alright, so... <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh myself out <laughs> Oh, alright. Uh, I promise there has been no drinking of any adult beverages in, in the... Uh, hunting truck today. All right, you good? Get it, did you get it all erped up? Freaking hairball. Ah, all right. Hey everybody, Wyoming James checking in from another day in the cab of the Cobalt <laughs> Blue <laughs> Adventure. Now I think you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> so anyway, uh, right off the bat, like we get into our new super top secret perfect spot and we're setting their glass in and just kind of having some general conversation. Now, wait, I, hold on. I got first things first. I need to show you guys or need to explain to you guys who all's in the, where's he at? Right there. So we've got in the back seat, the, the elk spotinist fool from Laradice, Wyoming, our man Dawson T has joined us. He he has departed from the university studies so that he can come here and hopefully be an extra set of eyes and an extra set of legs for pack and elk. And then we also have our man, the beef cake, kicking it on the driver's side rear. So here's what we got going. We we pulled up, we were sitting there glassing, making jokes, cracking jokes. It's windy, it's cold. And Dawson says, I got some spotted. And we start looking and here they came. Like you saw them, they were, they had covered about a hundred yards before I got the camera on them and they were coming right at us. So they ran down into a ravine, but they were headed towards us. So we moved the truck so that we would more like intercept them. And we couldn't get them intercepted. They just kept going away from us, away from us. But good news is there were roads that kept kind of getting ahead of them, but we were always about 500 yards behind them where we would pop up. So we finally got them to where they were standing on this rim rock. We get around behind them on the rim rock and Lefty and I get out and we walk around the rim rock and the wind was just in your face about 50 miles an hour. And we couldn't see him, couldn't see him. Lefty was having trouble keeping his breath with the wind in his face and couldn't find him. So now they're down below us here. We're gonna try to, we're just gonna let them settle down for a little bit. The cool thing is we know there are elk in that little canyon right now, but we don't have to go in there and bust them out. We'll just, we'll let them just kind of chill out. Um, we can glass most of that canyon from where we're at. So um, we're just going to let, we're going to leave them alone. We're going to go in here to happier hunting grounds. So uh, that is if we can, if we can keep Lefty alive for another 10 minutes or so. <laughs> so what do you, like, did you just choke on that water? Is that what it was? Yeah, it went down the wrong pipe. Okay, he's um, right at the right time. now our our medical friends would call that aspirating his water. Is that right, Doc? I don't know. It's called aspirating. I okay. I, I learned that from helping Mandy study. <laughs> You're the only one that truck likes to throw around in big words. I like those big words. That's right. So um, it makes me feel smarter. <laughs> so I think you. More of a fart smeller. <laughs> I have a, a daily word that I like to use, daily vocabulary word. Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna keep on going. Uh, in the meantime, we've had some great great conversations. We've had some fun. Uh, it, it's kind of neat because. <coughs> We saw a beautiful sunset this morning. We saw a beautiful sunset this morning, uh, which you guys got to see, right? So we were talking about that, and Mason says, oh, man, it looks like it's going to be a great sunset. And it was like 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm. So, uh, and so, But here's what's funny is right before that, <laughs> Dawson had mentioned that he brought his books to study in, in his backpack because he has a big exam coming up. And he says, well, I brought books that I can study. And I said, you are not my child. If you brought books in the hunting truck, you're not my kid. And right on the heels of that, Mason says, oh, this is going to be a beautiful sunset this morning. And I said, 
you are my kid. <laughs> that's that's my genetics coming out. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, we have had a ball, and it's been really cool because. Uh, Lefty has got to share some of those great stories that I really enjoy. Uh, he's got to share those with these boys, and they are just like they're like sponges. They love hearing this stuff. So um, now uh, that means they're going to go back to their mother with some really skewed ideas on how the world works. But hey, she gets to deal with it, not me. So <laughs> that's it. Wyoming James, our man Lefty Miller, Dawson, and Mason the Beefcake in the back. We're going to keep going until we find some of those elks. Stay with us. Finally. Okay. We're down. just about there, yeah. How long have you been stuck? Alright. It's not gonna take much. No, it won't. <coughs> you guys live in Buffalo? Yeah. Closed, right? Uh, road's closed, that's right. <laughs> Foul weather road. All right, thank you. Guys. All right, no problem. Hey, good luck to you. Yeah. We're going to turn around and go back that way because right. we came up from Casper, so right. no problem. Okay. Hey, yeah, what's up? Look, under the seat, under your side of the seat, there's a red, there's a red box with uh, ratchets in it. I need it. All right. Red box of ratchets. Let's see here. Are you serious? The ratchets is that he said. Yeah. There we go. So I can't believe this. Do you see this under here? I can't believe this. You, you baby this stuff and you baby it and you pamper it and it still just falls apart. So we're gonna get this unhooked.
solve. We're going to save this because we might end up using it later. Come on, let's go. Getting ready to eat some, eat some lunch. Mason, if I'm there, I'm glad there's one thing that you've ever where's listened the, to me about. Where's the... <laughs> you guys were messing with that today, Lefty, so I don't do you know, know where that little plate is on mine? No, it's in the rig for sure. Well, we'll 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 watch the video again and we'll see you dropping. That was all you. you we'll bumped, your arm you. bumped it. We'll literally watch you drop it again. What are you doing? Pissing on the seat, dude. We'll whoop your ass, kid. Get the mustard. You're doing real good. There is no mustard. <laughs> Bologna and bologna. And bologna. Oh, perfect. Porque no todo. Let's keep the rim. But there's one underneath too, huh? I don't know where to get one underneath down. But... <laughs> <laughs> Like everything else on this truck, I'm sure it's just a ratchet strap. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. All right, so we had this great idea. Uh, we were setting up the glassing, and Lefty got the hankering for some more uh, invasion bar food. So I said, hey. Well, huge dude. Oh, yeah, so Mason brought it up. Mason <clears throat> said, hey, uh, Dawson, uh, if uh, if I buy, what was it, if, if I no, buy? No, I said... I said, hey, Dawson, uh, Dad said if you buy lunch, we can go to the Invasion. Yeah, so he said, Dad said if you buy lunch, we can go to the Invasion. And Dawson's like, I'm not buying lunch. And then Lefty's like, well, what if Lefty buys lunch? So towards KC we go, but we're going the north way, right? And so we get up there, and you saw that we towed two people out in like 10 minutes. Uh, the first one, they were hung up. The second one, they were mostly out, but we still hooked on to them. So, uh so now we're reduced to having having our lunch here. We just enjoyed a little lunch, a little bit of a little bit of chit chat. But Lefty just pointed something out, and it, and what I want to what I want to share with you guys is the generational differences. We talked a little bit about them yesterday, but we have some more generational differences right here in our cooler, right? So Lefty brings out his own necessities, and I bring my necessities, right? So here's Lefty's. That's Lefty's necessity, right? That's that's 100% prune juice, right? That's go, all right? Here's what I brought. I brought stop. <laughs> go, stop. So we're, we're covered. No matter what problems we have, oh, gastrointestinal, we've got them solved, right? <laughs> Probably 2,000 miles to be abused by this. <laughs> we can, <laughs> oh, we can work it out. 
And if it works out too much, then we can get her woke. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's funny. And I, we just challenged, actually, we just challenged Mason to, to chug this whole thing. But then we realized we'd never make it back home because we'd have to stop every five minutes. So um, we were having a ball out here. Uh, glad you guys are watching. Uh, glad you guys are catching up with us. The elk hunting could be better, but it's just it's just one of those weird, weird situations where we're in them, we're out of them, we're in them. So uh, we'll be catching up with you guys a little bit later this afternoon. We had Stay a little with us. action this morning, anyway. Yeah, we did. We had that action that this morning, chasing the, days. chasing those bulls around. Um, so yeah, that was all right. Did we ever got the heart rate up? Yeah, I got the heart rate up. Got the adrenaline flowing. So, um, but yet, yeah, yeah. So we will catch up with you guys <coughs> in just a little bit. Stay with us. For all my pillow products, sixty day unconditional money back guarantee, ten year warranty, and don't forget if you pre order a copy of Mike Lindell's new book. Your entire shipping will be free. Let's go to MyPillow.com, click on the Sean Hannity. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Ruined the shot. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so we uh, <coughs> we have come to the end of yet another day, another adventurous. Is it adventurous or adventuresome? Anybody? We've had another adventure-filled day <laughs> out here. In the adventure wagon, um, we have had some laughs, uh, like <laughs> literally, literally, like have been had side splitting laughs at at certain points uh, during the during this uh, day. So I'm uh, looking forward to it again tomorrow. It wasn't the most successful of elk hunting days. Now we did see elk. We saw a total of three. We saw one more uh, after we had lunch, but it was just a split second, and I wasn't even really certain that I had seen it. Um, but I convince myself I did so so that's that uh, plan for tomorrow not 100% sure find the elk I mean it's the same plan rinse and repeat but we are going to uh, gonna come back out and I know from past experience if you spend enough time in an area you're sooner or later gonna catch something coming through and so that's kind of what I'm holding out for uh, we've got one more day of, of hunting uh, up here with this with this crew and then Monday we've got our Pennsylvania friends who have shown up and we're gonna go down to the deer camp but we've got four days with them and then after those four days we can get back up here and on the slope and uh, hunt some more elk so and a lot can happen in those four days there's gonna be deer seasons opening in this area so those those deer hunters will hopefully be moving elk around as well so we'll just we'll just wait and see what that looks like uh hoping that we don't get any more snow because there's places up in there that we won't be able to get to if we get too much more snow so that is it uh what am i forgetting i forgot to wave to the missouri guys hey missouri guys um so i don't think i'm forgetting anything else uh that's it so we're gonna go we're gonna head home uh, get a nice early evening, probably go get some dinner or something, and then uh, turn in really early so we can get up again early tomorrow. Now, I kind of have a plan. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I plan on pulling the outhouse out here tomorrow morning. So we might leave a little extra early because we're getting in earlier. Uh, I want you guys to know, the outhouse is taken care of. Through no fault of my own, however, our girl, Powder River Mandarin, in our absence yesterday, she arranged for the outhouse to be reserved and taken care of. So we've got the outhouse, it's good to go, and it's actually sitting in my driveway right now, so it's kind of a funny deal. But So we're gonna probably drag that out here, drop that off, and then that way when we come back out Monday with the horse trailer, um, we, I only have to make one trip out here. So uh, now 
We'll, uh, we don't, still don't know what's going on with Tim's truck. We don't know if he's going to be with or without a pickup. So we have to figure that out too. So we'll, we'll probably find out when we get back to town what's, what the plan is there. So Wyoming James, our man, lefty, fly like an eagle, Miller, and my two offspring checking out from another day in the wilds of Wyoming. Adios.